Hey guys, Sony just rolled out a new firmware for the Link Buds S called 2.1.3. According to the update list, it reduces the burden on the battery and reduces the loss in battery capacity due to long-term use. That's great, right? But what is this? This update may result in slightly shorter battery life, depending on use. It seems to me that this update is a preventative measure to ensure that the battery doesn't get screwed as fast as the Sony WF-1000XM4s. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch this video, link in the description. But after applying the update, how much of a difference would it be in terms of battery life? And will it affect any of the Link Buds S's key performance metrics like its sound, its call quality, and noise cancelling? We're going to listen to some binaural sound samples, so I recommend listening to this video with earbuds to hear all the details. I have split this video into chapters, so if you want to, you can navigate to the parts you're interested in. And if you want to stay tuned for more firmware update related videos for the Sony Link Buds S, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Now, since the update is going to affect its battery life, I have tested it using the same settings as the last time I performed a battery test, playing Spotify on loop at 60% volume. And this time, it yielded a little more than 4 hours of battery, compared to the previous count of around 5 hours. So yes, there is less battery now, but not drastically less. And if Sony says this will extend the lifespan of the battery, to me, it's not too bad of a trade-off, but let me know guys what you think in the comment section below. Let's move on to the sound quality. Are there any changes there? Well, frequency sweeps before and after the update show that there are practically no differences in the tuning. And even when listening to the buds before and after the update, there seems to be no difference at all. Have a listen. I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on By the way guys, if you want to compare the Link Buds S's sound quality to other earbuds, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. Now let's compare the new firmware's call quality to the previous firmware in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe style background noise and some wind noise coming from this fan over here. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony LinkBuds S running firmware 2.1.3. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony LinkBuds S. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony LinkBuds S running firmware 2.1.3. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony Link Buds S. So it seems like there is no difference to the Link Buds S's microphone pickup, be it in quiet or noisy conditions. It's still as great as before, in my opinion, and these are still one of the best right now in terms of call quality. In terms of noise cancelling under the same noisy conditions as before, it seems that 2.1.3 did not bring any ANC improvements nor did ANC get worse. In the following sound samples, you can hear a difference somewhat, but it's so negligible that I can attribute that to inconsistencies to my recordings instead of any actual changes to its ANC performance. Have a listen and tell me what you think in the comments.
By the way guys, if you want to compare their noise cancelling and call quality with other earbuds, become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare headphones A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Now many people have joined up because they're smart, especially people who can just simply drop by a store to compare headphones A to B. They know that this is going to save them so much time and money being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. So overall, this update is not going to have an impact on the LinkBuds SS performance, be it in terms of sound, call quality, or noise cancelling. There is a small but noticeable impact to battery life. I suspect that Sony is throttling the battery capacity a bit to extend the LinkBuds SS charging cycles in a bid to reduce the battery's degradation. Much like how the iPhone's intelligent charging feature only charges the phone to 80% capacity at times when you're not using the phone, like if you're sleeping at night and your phone's charging in the background. So if you update the Link Buds S, and it seems that the battery is about 20% shorter, this is actually part of the update and not a product flaw. But if you have not updated yet, you still have a choice whether this is a trade-off that you're willing to make. That being said, if there are any more follow-ups and updates for the Link Buds S, I will come back with another video. So get subscribed and tap the bell button if you don't want to miss out on future update videos for the Link Buds S. And by the way, guys, I do also make these videos for the Sony WF-1000XM4, but nope, Sony has not rolled out any new firmware updates since 1.6.1. That was last year. And even that update seems to have been pulled according to some users. But do continue to stay on this channel, you know, just in case there's anything new coming for the XM4. Thanks for watching, smash like and share. If you dig this video, I'm also on Discord. So if you have Discord, come and join the chat. Link is in the description. I've also made a video about my dream desk setup for 2023. If that's the kind of content that you're interested in, click on this video over here or click here to watch another video instead from this channel.